how do standalone components differ from traditional NG modules? This is also one of the questions that you could get in an Angular interview. So to answer this question, let's switch to the screen. Here on the left side, I have a, a I have an application that is uh, in, in Angular 14. And uh, on the right side, there is an application that is uh, using Angular 19.2. So uh, what are the differences? Uh, regarding the uh, traditional NG modules, traditional NG modules are actually uh, they are acting as a container uh, for related functionality and provide a way to declare dependencies here. And also they provide us with a way to organize and bundle components, directives and pipes and services. So uh, these are the modules and we have this private module and we have a public module, for example, app module and so on and so on here. Uh, on the right side, there is no actually modules in our project at all. So uh, we are using uh, our latest version and uh, standalone components are here by default. So there is no NG modules, but we can use it. We can use them uh, if necessary. So uh, standalone components, if I open a component. Uh, so in the previous version of Angular, like 18, 18 or from 17 until 19, uh, standalone was optional. Uh, was optional and we had a flag here to say standalone, true or false. So it was like before the version 19. So this is the difference here. And uh, now they are used by default here. Uh, regarding declarations, uh, we had to declare everything in engine modules here, for example, our components here. And now we don't have any uh, we don't have any modules and we don't have to declare components as is because standalone components are actually import they are importing their dependencies for their self so as you can see here in the uh, component decorator we have uh, here array of imports and we can import anything and uh, we can also configure uh, these components here like this so these are differences between ng modules and and uh, standalone components regarding the bootstrapping uh, in the app module here, as you can see, uh, uh, bootstrapping was done like this. So we could provide a bootstrap, and this is this was done. This was done, sorry, just in an app module, and we provided app component here. And Angular, while building and compiling, will uh, provide us uh, with the with the default component here for the application. So this is app component uh, here in uh, this uh, uh, 19 version or from version 17 when we are using actually uh, standalone components. Uh, bootstrapping, bootstrapping is done in the main uh, TS here, and we are just using Bootstrap application and providing our app component here. So we have this default, and we don't need. Uh, this uh, this app module here as well. So, regarding the lazy loading uh, in the in the ng modules here, there's a difference also. Uh, we had an option uh, to lazy load uh, modules actually, and entire modules, and we would do it, it uh, like this in the routes array. We provided like a, a path to our a module, and then load children, and import public public module, and then uh, import that public module here and that was done it was done like this so uh, in the uh, in the standalone components we would do it uh, a bit differently so in the app routes here and where we are using the routes actually we would add uh, something like uh, let's say that uh, we have uh, we have to load a component for this uh, this uh, this application here and stand, uh, to, to load the standalone component, actually lazy loading. And then we'll add uh, like this path. And it would be like, let's say, mm, what is it? Card. Doesn't matter. Or, okay, it can be card. Card, okay. And then we will add uh, load component, load component. And then we're adding an error function here. Sorry load component and then we will say uh, okay import okay and then we are going to provide a path to our component here card card component then we don't need a ts here okay and we could, we are going to say then and 
Uh, um, sorry. Um, um, and our component car component, and that's it. So this component, uh, this component would be lazy loaded on our car route here. So there's a differences between uh, lazy loading. So the, uh, here we have a better performance because we are able right now to lazy load each component without uh, lazy loading a whole uh, whole module, and this also provides us with a smaller bundle size, and applications is faster. So uh, we have uh, right now we have compared uh, the modules and the routing. Uh, with standalone and uh, app uh, uh, ng modules here sorry so uh, advantages of the standalone components just to mention that in the end so uh, the code is simplified no need to create and manage ng modules as we did in the past uh, they are better there is a better reusability so can uh, components can be reused across the application require, uh, without requiring a module uh, in the past in the past we had to add a module for example here and i'll add a public module and then we had to uh, import the uh, or uh, add exports here actually maybe in the shared module i have something uh, but uh, we would have to add like exports then we would have to declare which uh, components we have to export from our uh, shared module here so now in the in the card component in the actually standalone components we don't have to do that that, that thing again so uh, improved uh, improved lazy loading is also here, so these are all advantages as I mentioned, and reduced boilerplate code because the uh, standalone components are uh, having uh, less code uh, than the, the and and the ng modules and importing and exporting and so on and so on. So I went to use each uh, use traditional ng modules. Uh, for large applications with shared dependencies, for example, if you have uh, something like uh, huge applications that uh, you're maintaining or anything, and we, uh, when migrating older uh, Angular applications. Also use standalone components uh, for new applications or smaller features, and when you want to reduce boilerplate and simplify the code base. So by adapting uh, these standalone components, Angular developers, or actually we, uh, can achieve a more modular and streamlined development experience. So I hope this uh, answer was helpful to you and thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please uh, subscribe, comment or share and see you in the next one. Bye.